Hey, what's up guys? This is Stephen from Thailand Unplugged. In this video, we head up from Bangkok to a little town called Kong in Nikon Ratchasima. All coming up. Visit our subscriber Mark Loveridge and his wife Ratana and their little granddaughter, of course. Mark shows us all around the little city uh, or town, if you like, and very, very nice. He's a very lucky man to live there. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. So let's jump straight into this video. It's Mark, quite an unplugged. This is the main uh, city or town of Kong. It's in the Nikon Rachima area. That's the new train station on the right there. The fast train. New one. Yeah, over there, yeah. Yeah, 200 kilometers an hour or something. Go to China. It's supposed to travel at uh, 200 kilometers an hour. It's pretty good when it gets going. You're, you're supposed to be able to get to uh, Nikon Ratchima. Mark told me before, I can't remember. Yeah. Um, it was two hours or something, I don't know. But yeah, this, this whole uh, city will take off once they've got that. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you're for long, yeah? Hi. Again, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Long. Can we can go have a look first and then take back first and go to see him. Yeah. How much now? Put them on the way back. Outside, outside too. Yeah. Put them on the way back. Yes. What? We can come back and take. Get a couple of them now. Yes, put in here and then come back and take. Howdy, Cloud. Very nice. I go here, I come back, okay? Howdy, Cloud. What's this one called, Mel? What is it? Fak. Thai Fak, not Falang Fak. What is it? Thai Fak. This is like is it? Right. Well, I thought it was a marrow. There we are. That's something we've learned in Thailand. The word for yes is that. That's the word for marrow. Hello there. If you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like? It helps us out a hell of a lot. Be most appreciated. And now back to the video. I see. So that's the translation for marrow in Thai. I somehow think that's not going to work very well. What is that? Um, they call Prala. What's that? Prala, they put in the som tam. Can I any size name som tam? So just walking along, there's more marrow there. I don't want to ask what that is. Um, yeah, they've suddenly got everything in this market. Really good. It's, it's um, very cheap too. Those bananas are real cheap back there. We'll get some on the way back. Hello. What's the green one now? This is a sticky rice. Oh. Do you want to try? Oh no. Try. Yeah. <laughs> Sticky rice. Okay. Oh, it's nice. Put some on the way back. <laughs> this is um, Amper Mueang Kong Market, a little town in Korat. Uh, 
This is a big one, big market for the town. Okay. That's what Thais have for breakfast, that fish. It's quite nice, actually. Very popular in Thailand. Mm. Ah, it looks like a nice market. Local food, local produce, cod juice. Very tall, that woman. Oh, she's standing on something. Hey, cap. Yeah. For all you meat lovers. Yeah. It's ribs and things. Say it, cap. That's your beef. It's not really beef. It's buffalo. And the salad is beef. Pretty cheap prices in there, much cheaper than Bangkok, I'm telling you. We've got some good stuff in there. Might stock up before we go back. Nice little market. Do you want pork or chicken? Uh, chicken, thanks. Chicken. No, okay. There you go, the lady said I could film her making the noodles. This is this exciting. Yeah. I got chicken, so that'll be alright. That's the noodles. Yeah. Is that chicken? There you go. That's how you do the noodle. Noodles. They say this is best in Nepal. That is a uh, best breakfast. It's not too bad, you know. And coffee. It's beautiful coffee. Yeah. I can't eat it. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, Kong uh, in Kolat uh, Province. You can say it's very nice. It's this day we stay one night at the hotel. I I lived in a uh, review. They say it's very good, very nice, blah blah blah. I stayed there one night. 
last night you paid 600 bucks for that. Nothing. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, I don't think I can eat that sort of stuff. It's, it's, it's got no preservatives and um, steroids in it. No, no, not for me. I don't think so. We mm. stay one night here at um, for what the name I forgot. For Hong Chan and so on. It can get back. It's not too bad, but no breakfast. One coffee. One sound. Very nice. Mark Loveridge. Cup of cup. So what's the name of the temple? Yeah. Yeah. The city, they call it, don't they? Yeah, it's Pimai. 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 So that where the Khmer came in and took it, took it, allegedly took it to bits. It's just like a brick. It's big. Don't get me wrong, it's big. When I went there, um, like 10 years ago, I think it was, a, for me it was like 250 baht. The ties were free. So, but it's got a, it's got a, ba meow. It's got, yes. It's got the uh, King's uh, Bangland tree there. On a on a on a on a yeah. It's got a bang bang lang tree, which the king planted. Not King Gal, it's King Ok. A long way. It's the oldest bang lang tree in Thailand. Tree yai. Where? He might. He might. Ah yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Old old king. Yeah 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 yeah. He's playing soy. It's near yeah. near. It's all near near. Uh, yeah, it's, the ba it's got a band line, see? <laughs> King number six put it in uh -huh. about 200 years ago, 300 years ago. Uh -huh. And everybody goes, puts ties, stuff around it, good luck. They sell birds, which I don't agree with. So they offer a turtle to go in, in the lake, and it's all for uh, place. Supposedly, I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, the biggest. Um, Temple, ruined temple in, um, in Thailand. It's not Isan anyway. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's big. It's worldwide. It's, it's a world um, world heritage site. So you can't go in there and just party or want to do anything. It's and it's gated to get in. So it's got a big wall going around, it and you have to go through the mission gate to get in. Um, the last time I went there, it was really, really hot. There's no shade, so it's really hot. Um, Take an umbrella or something because mm. it's really hot. I remember that. Yeah, I told him that we have to go early in the morning because it's not not hot, not too bad. Yeah, yeah if we go the afternoon, the, I worried about the um, very hot. Man. Yeah, it's hot. I, we went about. I think that was the afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon. And yes, hot, yes. So, um, but, I think um, better. <laughs> it's funny, he said that you have to move. Yeah, but we got a beautiful, we have a beautiful temple here. Mm -hmm. And it's the actual main, new main bit of the temple is actually only five years old. Ah. It's just been built by the community. Um, we all paid in towards it. And it's only about five years old. The other part is, you know, an old, old temple. And it's, got, it's got a slightly Chinese influence to it because it's a big Chinese. Here. The Chinese temple that I know that there was a slight one in there. Nice. Beautiful. Oh. Uh, you'll still see it. it's still um, a sandstone colour. So they've not put all the gold on it. And oh. it's only five years old. Mm -hmm. And when you go in, uh, it's taken several 
Brown friends there, and they go in and there's like, the original monk, and they all think he's real. He looks that real, even though he's in a case. You go up in, and it's freaked every single Brown I've taken in there. What is it? His body? Well, you think it's his body. Oh. But he's that. Uh, no, it's this was tied, but it's half. half oh. But you go in, when you go up in, uh, you'll see the monk there. Uh, I'll ask you if you think it's real. What? You'll see if you go. You see yeah. But it does freak everybody out. It literally does freak everybody out if you go in. Just near this one, yeah? Yeah. What's this built for? You don't know? Yeah, it's just because the other one, because it's a school, it's been out, it's basically outgrown, so they built this one. Oh, okay. Because we're a main temple in the area, in the province. Um, it's only been finished about four or five years. So. Mm. We all chipped in. Did you? Yeah. To home the original monk, that's what it's for as well. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the bloody thing. There and there. It came in right. one, two, three, four, five sections. So it was built off a of, off a site and then they just brought it in put it in together. Jeez, what have we been a big crane with the mat. I wonder what they glued it together with. The yeah? It's pretty cement, yeah. Really? Cracking there, look. Oh, it's made out of sandstone, yeah? Yeah, it is. I want to paint it if it's sandstone. They'd be doing that with a laser, wouldn't they? Yeah. Huh? We're doing that one there. Yeah, beautiful inside. Oil paint. It's got all oil paints on the wall. Mm. This one's um, B2 for free. It's no help to, to pay. They're happy to do their life to do all this for free. Yeah. Yeah. You go inside or something? Yeah, sure. Try to have a look. The closer it is, I don't know. Oi, who are they in? Oh, look at that. Yeah. In the shirt, we like to paint about uh, Buddha history. Yeah. It's good this one, Mark. Buddha before the, his success to be the Buddha he tried to do he tried to learn by himself the how to be you know, like a happiness okay 
and they know it, they don't do nothing, he just sit and uh, it's not success in that world. And then they got again and go again, born again and born again. Okay. Okay. Many times. Yeah. What was it, Matt? It's when you take your ashes when you when you decorate it, then you you keep your ashes going back of there. Yeah. And then you can have a platform with your photo. Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah. If you've got the money, you can have your ashes put there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, family, yeah. Mm. Sorry, yeah, there you go. The actual temple, but when you die, um, in Buddhism, you, your family takes care of you, trades you, because you know, um, obviously there's no funeral directors in Thailand, so the family actually take care. You will actually go in the front end there, and you can see the chimney there, it's actually a pyre inside, so you will actually be burnt, and then your ass return, uh, you will actually go either into the lake at the back, or you will go into what Stephen just showed you, know, one of those little plaques, depends on how much money you've got, and also, before you come here, you can lay in, in state in your home for up to a week. They keep a refrigerated coffin or casket there for you so that everybody can see, the monks can come and worship. Be good luck for six people up in um, Tom Ken. Yeah. I said, carry your shoes because you're a bandit. I'm not a coward because they won't be here when we get back. No, no, you don't believe that, I did. Where do we go? Straight up in there. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, you still alive now? Can I ask yourself, is he alive or not? Wow, that's one hell of a reproduction. That's the monk, the uh, one of the monks. They stick the old um, leaf on it. Australia. Oh, where are you from? Australia. Why is he?